I thought about ordination as a Samanera, novice monk. From enlightened fathers to their sons. Dear son, if I teach you the ways of the world, you will learn to survive very well in the world. But you will learn to lie. You will learn to take advantage. You will learn to take before somebody else does. And you will learn lots of things which are quite the opposite of what I would teach you <clears throat> if I were to teach you the ways which are not of this world, but which are the ways of reality, then there is only one kind of person who does not have to lie, who does not have to go out and cheat or defend himself, lie to defend himself or do any of the other behaviors which a person may feel is not pure or sinful. Only one kind of person can avoid doing those things. So if you want to avoid doing those things, you have to be that kind of person. And that kind of person is called a monk or a bhikkhu. Monks who ordain as children, as samaneras, never get to lose their purity, meaning their virginity, and remain pure from birth. And if they never are uh, disrobe again, then these are the monks who are truly pure and have a true chance to never become attached to that particular very powerful distraction and uh, defilement. In Thailand, a monk like this who remains all his life ordained since childhood before he ever even was attracted to women is known as Prat Borisut or any monk who is pure. It means pure monk. Uh, what it means is untainted. In Thailand we say a baby is born like a white sheet, yeah, completely pure and unstained and that as he grows up through the world, the white sheet becomes stained. This also shows non-self, because in truth, we are all white sheets. But as we grow up and become conditioned by the world, we learn to behave in ways that society has programmed us, and the sheet becomes stained. But those stains are not self, they are defilements, and they can be polished off. And that is the duty and practice of a monk. As you can see, a young monk not only receives a good schooling which will allow him to enter university later, and even if he remains as a monk, will definitely enter university, which most do. He also learns to meditate from a very young age and gain insights. And this is the best chance that any person or child or man can have to truly find happiness and to avoid having to put up with living and behaving in a world that in truth makes you put your head on the pillow at night and feel distress, suffering, regret for your unskillfulnesses of the day. There are days when you feel happiness for your skillfulnesses, but mostly there are regrets for unskillfulnesses. And that is why we should give respect to Prat Borisut, whether they ordained as children or not, and those who have maintained their purity and are not stained by these desires to take that girl and strap her up and give her one, or to eat that last shrimp on the plate before somebody else does when nobody's looking, and, or have to lie to defend oneself and stuff like this. Because if you're a true monk and you practice, practice properly, then you will not lie and you will avoid having to do those things. And you, because you're a monk, you won't have to do those things because you are not bound to do those things. So it's an escape and it's also a gateway 
to having the chance to have a path of practice. And so many people would say, oh, for my son to ordain at a young age and never disrobe and be a monk. In England, I know a lot of parents would be completely appalled. But in truth, the Buddha, when he became enlightened, he went back to find Rahula, his own son. And his mum and dad weren't very happy about it, although his mum came and ordained, his stepmom came and ordained later. But his father, the king, wasn't happy because he wanted to keep his son in the pa his grandson in the palace. But Rahula went with him, and Rahula became an arahant. And what better thing could you give your son or your daughter than the path to arahantship? But we have to teach our children the ways of the world so they can survive. But at the same time, we can teach them that there are two realities. There is the reality of the world, if they don't disrobe and they have to go work for some company, but to teach them the Buddha Dhamma. And if a child ordains, not for a week, but let's say for a year, and disrobes, it's not as good as if a child ordains and never disrobes, because that will become a prat and probably a prat meaning an enlightened, pure monk. You freed your son from the realms of suffering, you get merit from that. But otherwise, ordination for a year would also allow him to go through life and survive and be a corporate businessman, but still have his ethics his moral ethics and be skillful in life and be successful without having to be sinful. So to all Buddhist fathers and mothers and those of you who have been monks and who know the path of the Buddha properly will understand this point and that ordination for your children is an auspicious thing and that in Thailand all children usually ordain at least for a while and they get an education and they learn the basic ethics and morals of what is a prat, a prat, it means monk but actually prat means a person who is ethical, who does not lie, who does not kill, who does not steal, who does not speak bad of others, who does not cause schisms between others, who is not adulterous, who is not a, a false companion, who is a true companion, yeah? And uh, I wanted to explain this about how maybe in England you go to Sussex or somewhere, I would say taking children and letting them ordain as a Buddhist monk like this might be something they don't see as good. But if you are a Buddhist and you understand what samsara is and you understand what nibbana is, at least to an extent, you can give your child a Christmas present. But what better could you give your child than the key to the labyrinth, to escape the labyrinth. And what we're looking at is the key to escape the labyrinth. Namo tatsa pakawato arahato samma samputatsa. Namo tatsa pakawato arahato samma samputatsa. Namo tatsa pakawato arahato samma samputatsa.